And Knox County, the health department reports 311 confirmed cases of COVID-19. Almost 84% are recovered. This chart shows the daily number of new cases. You can see the numbers are low right now. The health department says that's encouraging. Here's Dr. Martha Buchanan with an update and what's to come as reopening continues. We, we are trending downward. Um, I am actually going to take a deeper dive into the data with my staff um, today because we're really at that point where we need to make a recommendation to the, the committee and the community about what, what happens regarding phase two. So we'll be taking a deeper dive into that data today. If this is a marathon, what mile are we on? Probably one and a half marathon medal yet. <laughs> I, I, I'm not ready to say we've hit the half marathon yet uh, based on what we're seeing with cases. I think we're getting close though. I hope we're getting close, but uh, time will tell. Well, the details of phase two are in the process of being created. Um, we're looking at um, the data to inform the decisions that are made about whether we enter phase two or whether we don't. As you know, the data looks really good right now, so we're encouraged by that. Um, so we'll be putting that information out, um, some information this week, more information next week about that. So I'm not aware of any, any study or any, uh, anything that's looked at temperature um, and as it relates to COVID-19. We do know that sometimes temperature does impact uh, how we spread some germs, but I haven't seen anything definitive about COVID-19 regarding that. And honestly, yes, um, you are a little safer outside. You're not totally safe. You could, people, we still cough, sneeze, and, and droplets come out of our mouth when we talk and stuff. And you know, if you're running, you're going to have a lot more droplets coming out of your mouth. Um, so you need to still maintain six feet of distance. But because the air moves more quickly and changes, it's not as static as it is inside, we tend not to pass things to each other outside as readily as we do inside. If you can't maintain six feet of social distancing, we still recommend that you wear a mask outside. You can visit your families now as long as you can maintain social distancing um, and keep the number small, uh, 10 or under. Um, and you know you might even want to wear a mask um, if you're talking about your family that's maybe not in a long-term care facility. If you have somebody who's in a long-term care facility, um, those facilities will, will stay uh, restricted to visitors for quite some time to protect those very vulnerable folks that live there. But with some precautions, you can still visit with your family and just follow the guidelines.